Hey guys, today we're checking out Tonewood amps. If you don't know what a Tonewood amp is, it's an amplifier that uses a little rubber plunger to press against the body of your acoustic guitar and it turns your acoustic guitar into the speaker. And it adds effects like reverb and delay and chorus. Now, what's interesting about this is that it can make an inexpensive acoustic sound a lot better. In fact, what I noticed was it made me want to play my Breedlove more than my Taylor, even though my Taylor costs four times as much. So let me show you how it works. It uses a system called the X-Brace. The X-Brace is four magnets that uses double stick tape. You take off the strings and you put it inside the sound hole of your guitar and stick it to the back of the body so that it can magnetically connect to the unit. The magnets are super strong. In fact, as you can see, that's pretty impressive. It's not going anywhere. Once you install it, every time you want to add your unit to your acoustic, you just stick it to the back of your guitar and you're ready to go and then plug it in to your acoustic. Because again, this is an amplifier that's going to change the way your guitar works. Now, once you turn it on, you get a lot of features. You get a, three kinds of reverbs, a plate, a hall, and a room. You get a delay. You get a chorus effect, which has to come with a firmware update. So originally the unit comes with a distortion, which I did not like at all. So I did the firmware update. It was uh, about five, 10 minutes and I added chorus. So let's get right to it. Let's play this thing and uh, show you how it sounds. I'm going to use the plate reverb. That's my favorite. And I'm going to play the acoustic without the uh, reverb and then add it in. Now, once you plug this into your amplifier, just like a regular amplifier, your volume on your guitar becomes the master volume. If you don't have a master volume on your guitar, you would have to use the volume on the unit itself. That is really cool. It really fills up the room with sound. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't make your guitar louder. It's the same loudness it would be if it was not plugged into a louder amplifier or PA system, but it adds the effects and sounds to the guitar. The great thing though, is if you're in a situation where you need more volume than just your acoustic, you can run the line out of this unit into your amplifier or PA, and that way the audience is getting the same sounds you're getting. The other feature is you can actually auxiliary in some effects if you want to have some loopers or kind of droning effects or kind of mp3s something to add to the to the experience the other thing is it's totally self-contained if you want to use it for smaller gigs like you know kind of or busking even if you just want to play on the street corner somewhere wherever the guitar is loud enough the unit will just make this a better situation let's go ahead and show you the delay since that was my second favorite here we go and again play you for a second. I'll play a second without the delay and then we'll add it in. That is definitely cool. And then next I want to show you the hall effect. And what I did on the hall is uh, I, in, I made the decay a much bigger. So this is a more of a kind of, you know, intense reverb sound. Let's show you without it and then with it. Here's without it.
It makes this really cool for any kind of, uh, you know, if you're doing any kind of guitar where you're maybe tapping on the body. All right, let's go ahead and check out this new chorus effect. Now, again, you have to firmware upload this uh, to try the chorus effect, but here it is. Here's a Leslie. Leslie's kind of cool. Here we go. And then there's a tremolo delay. So this is cool. I'm sure the idea of this is for the same thing. You do kind of. The other thing that's cool about it is it's made of ABS plastic. It's built really tough and it's made in the USA. It's actually made in Phoenix, Arizona. And that kind of leads me to the next part. The people at Tonewood are really awesome. I bumped into them a bunch of times here in town and uh, they said, hey, why don't you check one out? And uh, they were very gracious to let us see one of these things. So I want to thank them for that as well. And because uh, it is a really cool unit. The uh, unit itself takes three AA batteries. And that's another feature I like because although they could have put a lithium rechargeable battery in it, the problem is, is it does have a battery display to tell you when the battery is getting weak. And if you had a rechargeable, you'd have to charge it if you're at a gig. That could be a problem, especially if it was internal. But having the ability to just drop, drop in three more AA's is not uh, that hard and they're not that expensive of batteries. One last thing I should really point out is because it's all digital, everything is programmable, which means if you're at a, at a show, you can set up all your effects for each song and kind of just toggle through them in between, in between the songs. All right, guys, as always, I want to thank you so much for your time. And until next time, know your gear.